With Starfire, we kind of took Starman and Saturday Night Fever and combined it together. Total badass. But she has a very calculating intellectual side as well. What are you doing? Making sure it's safe. She's smart, she's arresting, she can disarm you with humor, and then she'll kick your ass. My favorite thing about her, and I guess I can call it a power, is just her incredible sense of service and determination to serve the good. She's this machine that when she has to mows right through people, and then you see Corey start to open up a little more, and there is a side of her that really loves life. There's something that she really, she wants to enjoy everything. Look at Cousin over there checking you out. Don't even. But there's something else that's holding her back, a mission that she's not quite sure why she has it. Seriously? And it grounds her and makes her a little bit more dangerous. Corey really has no idea who she is, and she has no memory of who she is or why she's here. She isn't aware of her alien origins. Rachel re relates to Corey because they both have powers that they don't really know what they are, and they both don't really know who they are. We've never met. Corey's really beginning to care for this for this little girl. Bonding with her and spending time with her. She makes it pretty easy to do. What is this freak show? Where did you say you were from again? I didn't. He meets Corey and sees early on that she is someone that he can trust and who is also taking on that task and responsibility of helping him protect Rachel. The relationship between Dick and Corey is complicated. They meet at crossroads in their life, so naturally that kind of just brings them together. Rachel, Dick, and Corey aren't necessarily people who function better in a group. They're loners. They're individuals, so their struggle is to find how to lean on each other.